According to the National Geographic, it radiates light and heat, or solar energy, which makes it possible for life on Earth to exist. Plants need it to grow. Animals, including humans, need plants for food and the oxygen they produce. Without it, Earth would freeze. Nothing is more important to us on Earth than this. Without it, the Earth would be a lifeless ball of ice-coated rock. Have you guessed what I've been describing? <laughs> yep, it's the sun. Light, both literally and figuratively, is important to us on so many different levels, especially right now. This is the first pandemic of our lifetimes. Two major dictionary publishers have chosen pandemic as the 2020 word of the year. Quarantine was once a distant term, but now is so familiar to us all. Think, a person in quarantine is stuck in a room, alone, for a period of time, being absent from the sun, light, and the energy that's generated as people radiate love to one another. I've been sending boxes of sunshine to those in quarantine or just needing a little bit of light and love. Giving, in turn, has made me feel even more confident about God's ability to still have us here on earth and be able to thrive. Giving is like the kiss of the sun's rays upon your skin after the wind brings a chill. While we are in the world, we should be the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered the light, and it never will. So... Will you let your light shine in this season? Who needs the light you bring to be able to see clearly when life feels dark? We got mom a box full of sunshine, so here's what's going in it. Thumbprints made by Elani and Lily Jean. We also have some bedtime tea because she said she's having trouble sleeping and then we have some quarantine snacks under there some chapstick our favorite brand then we have a candle this is a beach town. We've been talking about how much we can't wait to visit and go to Shantig Island. We've got a beach, a beach town. And then new kitchen towels. Some new kitchen towels to brighten up the kitchen. And it says I'll be there to help you organize soon. That's something I was supposed to be able to do. This plan was to go down and help her organize her kitchen. Then Lana picked out a bath bomb. And then we got her a new cup, because she's always got one of these cups filled with ice. A yellow cup. And then a holder to hold her water bottles. Some gum. When she, we were young, and then some Mrs. Myers um, room freshener. I just put it in the zip bag so it wouldn't explode in transit. And then, of course, pictures of her favorite girls. There's Lily Jean. And then here's Lonnie. <laughs> so that is Mom's box full of sunshine. I'm going to wrap it in yellow paper, but we decorated the sides. Mama Sunshine. And then it says, Love, Joy, Alri, and Lani. Can't wait to come over. No worries, please. And then this side of the box says, Hello, Sunshine. And then lastly, this says, A box full of sunshine to brighten your day. Love, Cherie. So I'm going to wrap this in yellow paper and get it ready for shipping today. Box 
house full of sunshine. Okay, another box of sunshine on its way. To brighten someone's day. journal in this one a lemon drink or water rather some lemon ginger tea so good some yummy chicken noodle soup vanilla scented candy gum M&Ms and of course our girls have to have some Oreos or some cookies with tea. So let's get this one packaged up. 